Hi guys, my name is Briar. Today I'm going to talk you through how to do a coffee enema. Firstly, the reason why we do a coffee enema is a lot of us suffer from digestive issues. Gas, bloating, constipation. A lot of the time it's because we've got a buildup of undigested food that hasn't been eliminated properly. So one of the benefits of doing coffee enemas, it basically just flushes the body of undigested food that we haven't been able to eliminate properly. Secondly, the reason why I love doing coffee enemas is it helps with flushing toxins out of the bloodstream and out of the liver. So a lot of the time through pollution, through bad diet, we get a buildup of toxins. And if we can't eliminate them properly, they'll go back into the bloodstream, which will cause later ongoing health issues, which we don't want. So by doing the coffee enemas, it stimulates the bile ducts in the liver, which then releases the coffee enema out through the backside, helping us feel more energized, less lethargic, and it kind of just gives us like a really nice feeling of more clarity, energy, and it's a great way to kind of just get rid of all the waste that we don't need in the body. So what we need to do the coffee enema is a bag of organic coffee. Make sure it's organic and not roasted, so we don't want to use normal coffee. You can get this from a health food shop or online. Secondly, we need an enema bag. I would suggest using a bucket. They're more effective and they last longer, but I'm living in Bali, so I'm a bit limited on what I can use. So firstly, if you're quite sensitive to coffee, the first time you do it, I would just use one teaspoon of coffee. And when you get more experience, then you can do three teaspoons of coffee. Wanting to make sure that the pan of water is full. And you can get two coffee enemas out of this. Putting it onto a low heat and simmering with the lid on for three minutes first. Then after three minutes, you can take the lid off and simmer for 15 minutes. The reason why we do this length of time is so the coffee ingredients are activated. Now, once we've done all the preparation, you can obviously turn the knob off and pour the coffee into the decanter. The reason why we use this is to get rid of any coffee granules because we don't want them to get stuck in the tube, which is very annoying. Believe you me, I've done it before. So it might be a little bit messy, pouring the coffee into the decanter. Just making sure there's no granules left, so you want to push this down. You can also use like a, a sieve or something like that. Now we want to make sure that there's no air in the tube, which can lead to cramping. So making sure that when you do the tube, you can bring the clip all the way down to here. And that will just really help with getting rid of any air in the tube. I'm going to pour the coffee into the bag. This is why buckets are easier. You don't have to fiddle around with it. Making sure it's at room temperature. So I normally put some cold water in the fridge, making sure it's filtered. And this will just help so it's not too hot going into the body. You don't want to burn yourself. Now for the first time, I would use maybe this much water. As you get more experience, you can go a bit further on and hold it for longer. So once you fill the bag with the coffee, you want to make sure you go find a quiet place in your bathroom near the toilet. So if you do feel like you need to release, you can. So first you want to take the tube off. You want to lubricate the end of the tube. It's very small, so it doesn't hurt. Maybe you put some coconut oil or anything that you can find. You want to make sure we're laying on our right side to do the coffee enema. This is the best way to relax the intestines keeping the knees tucked into the chest. So we insert the tube, I'm not going to do it now because I have blown them. And then releasing the clip and the, water, the coffee will just flow naturally through the bone. And you can just do some deep breathing to help it flow nicely. Once it's flown through and emptied out, you can take the tube out, release and just stay on your side, breathing deeply. If you get any cramping, you can just massage, it will go. It won't last for very long. I like to meditate or read a book. It feels quite calming, just have 15 minutes for yourself to relax. And then once you've done, hold it in for your length of time, it might be 5 minutes, 10 minutes, the optimum time is 15 minutes, but obviously the first time you may only get 5 minutes. If you feel like you need to go to the toilet straight away, you can just go. I would suggest doing a water enema first, where you have just warm water and just get used to doing the enema, just so you feel more comfortable. So when you do the coffee enema, 
it feels more natural and you know you're not wasting the coffee and you do need to go to the toilet straight away. If you like this information and you'd like to learn more about detoxing, body, health, digestion, you can follow me on my social media accounts and on my website.